good morning guys um i'm gonna share a video with you guys uh because i haven't seen on youtube and uh, i have it here a 2000 honda core this is a four cylinder uh the cup gun here uh when salomon used to be on the cup gun um, this is video is because like i said i never saw nobody in youtube uh, sharing this video and before I used to have drum brakes as you can see here that the old drum brake and cable was busted the brake uh, the emergency brake line so <clears throat> I'm just gonna show you the process what I did I hope if somebody who has this this type of car uh, wants to do this conversion it's not really difficult only thing that you need to do is gather some information uh, basically google it because like i said i never saw it on youtube and this is the problem that i used to have with this car uh, in the winter when it's really really cold with those drum brakes what happens is that when i park my car put the brake on next morning i try to drive it uh, it was difficult you know the the brakes get stuck and i remove the drums i always clean them make sure they, they wasn't really tight to the drum but the problem was that they always get stuck i remember one time the those brakes they just get seized on me they get stuck because it was really really cold i couldn't drive the car so i left the car and then i made the decision to do my research investigate what i need to do and and this is not difficult uh, most of the parts that i get they're from the junkyard like um this one obviously is brand new I buy this across the uh, rotors. I buy the calipers too because I didn't want to use the old ones. The only thing that I get from the junkyard was this controlling arm and this uh, this part right here. And uh, basically, it wasn't wasn't really difficult uh, because I have a lower car. As you can see, I've had true hard uh, shocks and lower sprints. Um, I had to head I had to have this one because I bought them because uh, the the regular ones they were higher they were longer so this one they had shorter pistons so the rise is smoother because before it was it was really the riding was really bad so I'm just gonna guide you in, in the, the steps that you need to do in order for you to change going from that to these brakes especially for the looks and because because of my problem i don't know if somebody else had this problem before but because of my problem the, the brake sits on me on, on cold weather i decided to go ahead and change it and the steps that you need to do you just, you just need to remove this i don't know if you can see it you just need to remove this castle nut from the upper uh, uh how, do you call, how do you call this uh the I ah, forgot sorry guys I forgot uh, the name of it but you have to remove this you have to remove this one right here you have to remove this one this lower control arm this one on the bottom too and remove your caliper and you can see right here you can see you have to remove the whole assembly and just pop this one up there is the emergency brake remove it and then you remove the whole part another thing that you need to do because obviously this has uh, a different e-brake cable uh, the e-brake cable i get it from the young gear too um, the only thing you need to do is you remove that nut right there then if you go on this side You have to remove the nut that is in there to just follow the cable and then you remove this nut right here I don't know if you can see it really well and then it goes the cable goes to the inside okay once you go to the inside of the car In this in the center console 
let me bring some light so you guys can see what I'm talking about here in the in the inside of the car and the central console that's the e-brake right here then you have a 12 millimeter ball that you had to have you had to have removed let me put the light right here okay let me show you you have two bolts okay those two bolts need to be removed one is right here that's that's the uh, right side from the right side bolt for the emergency cable there is another one right here you have to remove those two then you have to lose this this nothing here that makes the the, the brakes uh, the emergency brake loose or tight you have to remove those and then you just pull out the emergency cable same same way you had to do it to to put the new one back in so you remove all that and you have to remove obviously the shock bolt is right here okay you remove that bolt you remove the shock you pull everything out and then the brake line next time ta next step you have to do is remove the brake line the brake line goes around here it goes all the way up here and it's not it's not really hard to remove you have to be careful with this and not because it's really soft metal and if you don't have the right tool you can just strip that this nut around here and uh, man you have to you're gonna have really a uh, big trouble with that one remove that one right here this clip you just had to uh, get a uh, pliers pull it out and then you remove the whole assembly next thing that i do i remove this uh cover on the on the to to uh, work on the on the brakes you remove this one right here you put it back on so you don't have a lot of brake fluid uh, all over the place put it on while you're working on on replacing the the whole assembly okay and basically it like i said it's not really hard uh, just do your research and uh, so you can find what you have to do what you have to get and uh, after i get the whole assembly what i did was um i remove i put back everything on the car after that i just uh bleed the brakes if you don't know how to do that i'm gonna show you in another video how to bleed your brakes basically that's that's pretty easy you just have to have the the bleeder and and uh just go ahead and bleed your brakes your brakes on the back wall after you change uh and you do your new setup and make sure you have a torque wrench after you put everything back on you know same thing same procedure you just have to replace everything put everything back on on the car this one you had to i kind of had trouble to to put it where, where it was so basically i was just playing with it move it around and uh, after that put everything everything back on make sure that you have new rotors new calipers done if you go to the junkyard to get this part don't uh, don't don't use the the caliper that came uh, that you get on the junkyard because you know safety first and new ro new pads new calipers new rotor put everything back in then you just have to put this uh brake line back in on the car the new one obviously because you have to get that one too remember from the junkyard and uh, just just follow the line put it inside and after you're done the only thing that you need to do basically is uh, make sure that you put the the, the brake cable uh, all do all the bolts on the inside after you do all the bolts on the inside having your car uh, lifted uh, the only thing you need to do is just tighten it a little bit make sure that it's not really tight uh, the brake moves like like this one right here and uh, if it's too tight basically you just have to loosen it up a little bit and that's the way you're gonna make sure that, that you 
you have you you emergency brakes uh, working fine they don't have to be too tight they don't have to be too loose just touching the the rotor okay and the uh, tools that you need basically i have obviously power tools here but if you don't have them you can just use regular wrenches and you're gonna need uh you're gonna need 12 10 12 uh 17 19 nuts and uh, basically it's pretty much it you don't need a lot of you need to have expensive tools the only thing that i recommend is if you don't know how to bleed brakes you know go ahead and get a, a professional do it for you it's not really difficult but uh, you have to make sure that you bleed them uh, right so you have good brakes and uh, that's pretty much it guys after you do all that you gotta put your tire back on the car and uh, test your new brakes I hope you like this video guys uh, uh, I am gonna pause this video today if you have any comments or if you have questions about doing this you just hit me up uh, make sure that you like this video make sure that uh, you subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna be posting more videos and uh, that's it guys I hope you enjoyed and have a good day hey guys uh, one thing that I forgot to mention uh, if you're replacing the brakes with the same car that you have let's say you have a four cylinder or six cylinder if you go and look for the parts for the four or the six you just have to they say they have to remove the uh, change the proportion involved and it's uh on the bottom of the uh, brake reservoir you don't have to replace that a lot of people say they on on google they say that you have to replace the proportion involved but basically if you just gonna do the replacing of the same type of car let's say you have a four cylinder like me with uh four lug nuts not a five lug nuts if you want to do the conversion for the five lug nuts uh and it's a b6 and you are four cylinder and you want bigger rotors because mine uh, they're regular four rotors rotors so you want to head the, the big rotor so it looks better on your car you have to replace the proportion involved that's a lot of uh it's involved a lot of more work because you're going for a different setup my setup was the same for a another four cylinder car so basically i don't have to mess with the proportion involved i only replace the drums i put i remove those old drums i put the the new new setup with new rotors new pads new uh brake caliper but pretty much that's all i did and uh bleed the brakes obviously after you put everything back on make sure that your e-brake uh works properly you have to adjust it you just have to go inside in the uh, console uh, in the middle uh, in the middle of the car in the console and basically uh tighten them up until it gets kind of tight but not too tight and that's pretty much it you don't have to mess with that proportion involved and uh i think that's it guys i hope you like this video i hope you subscribe and have a good day